Welcome to Unisci Hub. Today's topic will be about a space phenomenon that is scarcely heard about. This phenomenon is a white hole. So, what is a white hole? A white hole is the twin of the black hole. White holes, whether they be fact or fiction, are a space phenomenon that not many know about. Outclassed by their far more famous brethren, black holes, white holes are considered the polar opposites of black holes. To explain a white hole, we must first explain its partner in crime, the black hole. A black hole is the result of when a massive star collapses and begins to yield itself into a smaller and smaller form until the only thing remaining is an infinite singularity. Because of the infinite amount of density being held in a finite amount of space, the black hole has a massive gravity pull, of which nothing, not even light, can escape from. Since the black hole has been explained, let's talk about a white hole. A white hole, according to all we know of, is what would happen if a black hole went backwards. Instead of pulling all in, the white hole pushes all out from its singularity, and nothing can come near it. The first mention of a white hole was by Igor Novikov in 1964, who put the possibility of the existence of white holes forward. This is all nice, but there's one problem. Are white holes real? No one really knows how a white hole could form. Nothing seems plausible. To form a white hole would be like watching an egg unscramble itself. There is one solution, however. A white hole could form from the death of a black hole. It seems right, the massive singularity that warps space-time, a black hole, could die and become a white hole, reversing its effects and belching the contents from within it outwards. Sadly, white holes are just theoretical, there is no definitive proof they exist, yet mathematics could allow one to exist. The most likely way a white hole could be formed is when a black hole singularity compresses into the smallest size predicted by physics, then rebound as a white hole, spewing all the contents inside of it. White holes could also serve as an exit to a wormhole, if we work with the wormhole theory, falling into a black hole could send you through a tunnel of space-time. And the exit would be a white hole, spewing all contents out. Another problem of the existence of white holes is that they break the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy of the entire universe can only stay the same, or increase. A black hole increases entropy, and for white hole is the opposite of a black hole, that would mean that a white hole decreases entropy, which would go against that law. If a white hole was able to form, it would take billions of years, since the most probable source of a white hole is the death of a black hole. Now that is a really long time. But. There actually might be proof of a white hole. In 2006, a gamma-ray burst was detected, with particular properties. This gamma-ray burst lasted for more than a minute, which was very unusual. This gamma-ray burst was also not near or the cause of any supernovae, and was not in a rejoin of low star formation, which meant that the only explanation of this burst was a white hole. So, if a real white hole existed, it would only last for a few minutes, or less, because the universe would really dislike it, and then it would collapse into a black hole. The theoretical white hole is a mathematically possible, though highly unlikely, space phenomenon, which works as an opposite of a black hole, belching anything near outwards. With all these factors and probabilities, does a white hole really exist? No one really knows that answer. Thank you for watching UniSciHub. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one, and don't forget to comment below what you think our next video should be about. That's it for now.